What's up guys? If you haven't uh, already noticed, we are not in California anymore. We are back to San Jose del Cabo. I shot a video here last year, a little video series, and we are back to do it again this year. This year, I'm gonna try to do things a little bit better. Last year, I actually had a staph infection and I was just really sick. I did catch a few fish and kinda got a lay of the land and I'm gonna try to use that to my favor this year. We're gonna see if we can get on some tuna. And uh, it's about 6 a.m. right now, day one. So first things first, before we even get fishing, we gotta get our fishing Mexican fishing license. That's what we're doing right here behind me. And uh, it's a little bit of a old fashioned style, but we're gonna get it done. So first things first, we gotta go and get some bait. And the way we do that is pull up to these bait boats right here. They're throwing their cast nets right up against the surf line there. I mean, it's probably like no more than 10 feet deep right outside the break. But uh, these guys really know what they're doing. Getting right in close, this is where the bait's getting pushed up. So they're throwing their cast net and then we get it from them. Six pounds. Six pounds. Oh, shit. Oh, it's one of those green ones. Grande, Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, he's following it. He's chasing it. Oh, look at that. So green. Yeah. yeah. Oh, they're beautiful. When they first came out. Alright. All right. Yeah. All right guys, that's gonna do for the fishing here on day one. Unfortunately, we caught a lot of fish today. Well, fortunately we caught a lot of fish today, but unfortunately, um, a lot of them were not really what we were targeting. We we're targeting yellowfin tuna, and at the end we we're targeting some Dorado, and obviously that's what we caught. So, very cool to catch that. That was my first ever Dorado, just a very vibrantly colored fish. Um, I've never actually seen one in person until today, and I can tell you for a fact that the pictures, you know, they look cool in pictures, but in person they're just that much better, so. Anyway, cool to catch that. That was my first one I ever caught. And uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we can get on some more tuna. But before we go, I wanted to give a huge thank you to our sponsor, Runkle, for letting this trip happen. They have a lot of great fishing products on their website. I'll leave them linked in the description below. And actually, the Mahi Mahi, the Dorado that I caught today, was on their braid. It was 50 pound, nine strand braid, and top shot with a, few, with a little bit of mono. But I'll leave that line linked in the description below if you want to check that out. A uh, huge thank you to them again for sponsoring this little trip here. So once we were coming back in the boat, I actually saw a few fish jumping in here. And then what they said was rooster fish. So I came out and tried to throw a plug for a little while, but no action for me. I only had about 30 minutes anyway. So hey, a little Hail Mary shot, but nothing today. But we are planning to do a little surf fishing vid to come. So stay tuned for that one. Anyway, hopefully tomorrow's a better day. We're going to try and get after some tuna again tomorrow. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.